today we are here at Janavala Faisalabad and right now I am standing in the house where the whole incident started at the boy's house, the one who was blamed that he desecrated the Holy Quran. And the Muslim mobs, mobs started from this place. First they burned this house and then they went to the church and then they desecrated the church and everything which was placed in the church and then they burned the whole settlements of the Christian community living in this Christian colony. I just want to ask you people that did we free Pakistan just to face persecution here? I want you all to please let the Christians live freely in Pakistan because we are also a part of Pakistan. We also voted for Pakistan the time when it was electing to be a part of this world map. As long as Christians were needed before 1947, after 1947, you accepted us in all ways. In, in every sector you accepted the Christian community. But I just want to ask you people why every time you are torturing us, you are persecuting the Christians to let us know to let that we are minorities living here. I just want you all to please let us live us freely in Pakistan because our religion teaches us peace, love and hope. And we can never desecrate the Holy Quran because our pastors, our churches always teaches us to never desecrate any religion. So, whenever in our churches, whenever the, uh, the churches is, are, uh, start, they are, uh, start our services, Sunday services, and when we end our services, we always pray for whole Pakistan, for all the nations, for all the religions living in Pakistan. So we spread love, so please give us love, give us respect and let us live freely in Pakistan. I'm Tamsi Lasif and today we are here at Brother Sunil's house and today he is telling us about the whole incident happened here in Janawala Faisalabad and right now his story, the words he is telling us that uh, he is agreeing that the different denominations, different churches, different NGOs are coming here and helping them. But the main point, he is raising his voice for his family. That right now he he is not having no, he's not having any job here. He is a he is a driver. <coughs> but now all the industries which are placed in Janawala and every factory they are not accepting Christians. So he is telling that every time whenever he goes out and he was he look around the church and everything and the the main house and the main place this is the main place where the this incident happened which is the christian town so whenever he goes uh, well, he goes out and look around he he feels fear right now everything is not stopped everything is ongoing and whenever he looks at uh, the incident whenever he recalls the incident now his family and he is in fear. You can see the camera and the camera Nations to let him move from this country because he feels that he is not safe here. 